Hi, my name is Bo, and I just wanted to share something uh, with all of you on this uh, bow making group. And it is, sorry, I'm just trying to clean up my little mess here. Um, it's how to make a little bow using a fork. Um, this bow actually was made with a larger dinner fork, so there's a lot of loops on this. And I'm going to try to show you guys how to make um, the bow maybe a little bit smaller with less loops on using like a salad fork. So this is what you're eventually going to wind up with um, after you weave your ribbon. And I'll show you actually how to weave the ribbon. And again, I'm using really, really thin, narrow ribbon for this. Uh, this might be like an eighth of an inch, maybe even smaller than that, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, you're going to start off with your fork. And you're going to do your first weave, which I hope you guys can see. And I'm just going to push this down. And this is your tail. This is not going to be weaved at all. This just sort of hangs off to the side. You're always going to just use um, this side. And this is the only tail part that's going to be the actual um, part of the ribbon that is weaved back and forth. So I'm just going to go in front and behind the tines, push it down. And again, you're not using this one. You're going to grab the one that you just weaved and now weave it back over your fork tines, just under and over. And then you're going to keep going back until you fill up your fork. And again, depending on how many loops you want, you can go all the way up the fork, or you can just maybe do a couple, couple weaves back and forth. And uh, the only thing is that these bows come out really tiny, so I would think that they're not going to be good collar bows, but they might be cute on like a really tiny toy breed dog to use um, in their coat by their ears. Um, so you pretty much get the idea. I'm not even watching the camera, so sorry. I hope this isn't too blurry. Uh, but anyway, that's what you're going to wind up with. And you're just going to snip this off. And then I take actually another tail piece. Um, I don't know, maybe about four or five inches. And what you're going to do is just gently pull up your weaved ribbon. And I'm just going to insert that in the middle on the bottom. And then I'm going to grab this part and just come over. And basically what this is used for is just to tie it off. And at this point, you can actually add your rubber band to this. But I'm not going to do that here. I just wanted to show you how to actually make this little ribbon. Um, or little bow, I should say. And I'm just going to give it another quick knot, tighten it up, and pull it off the fork. And I'm just going to just snip off some of the tails just so you guys can get an idea of what the little bow looks like once it comes off the fork. I apologize for the light color. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I only have light pink or baby pink. Um, but that's essentially it. That's what it looks like. And... Um, you could actually even maybe use a tiny embellishment to put in the middle, or uh, you can actually even take this bow and glue it on as an embellishment to maybe something a little bit bigger. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.